2012 model Great Wall V200. I bought it new in 2012. Um, I've got 70,000 kilometres on it, and we'll go over a few. <laughs> a two litre common rail diesel engine. It's been great, very economical. I've only had one problem with it and that's been the EGR module. It showed up on a fault code. That's it there and it um, cost me 150 bucks to replace it and it's been good ever since. One tricky thing is the fuel filter. There's two fuel filters. One of them is on the firewall down end underneath the EGR module. I've heard people say that the clutches are no good on the Great Walls, but um, I've had no problem with them. Clutches are either meant to be engaged or disengaged, not to be slipped. If you keep that in mind, and if your need comes to slip the clutch, go back to a lower gear or low range, you'll never have any problem. As with all common rail engines, there's not much torque down low. This one here, once you get under 1500 revs, it just dies, so you keep above 1500 revs, You've got the turbo boost up, there's no problem. If you look just down here under the firewall, I'll point out the fuel filter. It's got three clip-on fuel lines, you just squeeze them in and lift them off, and then there's a sensor wire underneath. Underneath it here, there's another fuel filter. It's um, on the inside of the chassis. I'll just get under here and you can see it there, that white filter. It is spin off pretty easy. And in behind there, there's a fuel primer bulb. Pump that up when you change your fuel filters over. When I bought this unit it was $30,000. That was with the extras that I've got on here. That was this sports bar, the hardcover top, tinted windows, and I put the side steps on it after I bought it. The rest was standard. I've never had any regrets buying this vehicle. I think when the time comes, I'll upgrade, I'll buy one of the new ones. Just one other thing, the nudge bar. I purchased it separately and fitted it after I bought the vehicle.